So here we have the Volkswagen Golf on a 21 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. But now that we've done a full circle, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right-hand side, along with a digital readout for the speedometer as well. And then the total miles for this car, which are 14,525. You can change uh, almost everything about the way these dials are presented. So you can change information in the middle. You can change information over on the left. Uh, and you can change information that's over on the right-hand side. But on top of all of that, you can actually change the layout of the dials entirely uh, so that they have a completely different look and feel to them. Uh, and that is all done using the buttons just here. We've also got a heated steering wheel, stereo controls, which continue on the left-hand side, cruise control. Once you set cruise control, hit this button here. This car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, both speeding up and slowing down automatically depending on the car in front speed. Over in the center, we then have the main touchscreen for the car. As you can see, we have satellite navigation, nice clear color display. We've also got our audio options, of course, which comprise of FM, uh, DAB radio and internet radio. You can listen to your own music. And again, a couple of ways you can do that. Uh, Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wi wirelessly. And My Media will allow you to set up your own playlists within the car. Um, we can go back to the home screen from here anytime you wish to. You can pair your phone. You can access your trip computer. Uh, down in the bottom right-hand corner here, you can increase and decrease the driver temperature. You can do the same for the passenger side. The volume for the stereo is just there. And if we back out from that screen slightly, you'll see you have some options down here for various things. So, for example, driver assist systems, our climate control menu, our parking menu, uh, and then on the bottom right-hand corner, driving modes. So you can select eco, comfort, sport, and individual for your car. And under individual, you can customize all the settings shown on screen now. Below that, we have two USB-C inputs uh, we have a start and stop button for the engine just here wireless charging for your phone here as well uh, and then a six speed manual gearbox all that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive please feel free to give us a call here at glenbournes we'd love to hear from you soon